Yeah, it finally appeared. After years of waiting, SpaceX has delighted fans with the latest render of the EVA spacesuit for Polaris Dawn. So what's special about it compared to the previous render? How will the EVA suit development technology in Polaris Dawn be applied to future missions? In December 2023, Polaris Dawn's commander fired the space community up with a little bit of sharing about new SpaceX EVA suits serving the Polaris Dawn program. According to Jared Isaacman tweet, the suit was in the evolution stage and its image would be released before the mission, but he did not know when. Polaris Dawn is a planned private human spaceflight mission operated by SpaceX on behalf of Shift 4 Payments CEO Jared Isaacman. The flight will be using a Crew Dragon capsule and is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program. It was initially scheduled for launch in early 2022, but the challenges in developing the EVA suit and modifications to the Crew Dragon slipped the flight to April 2024, nearly a year and a half behind the original plan. However, Jared Isaacman's sharing by then is simply the announcement about the suit development's progress. This turns out to be a good opportunity for the space community to show off its creativity to answer the question of what SpaceX's first EVA suit will actually look like. And boom! One month later, the most weighted render of the suit is released by SpaceX. Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk. So we've got to redesign the, the suit so that uh, you can actually move around in it and you don't just like, you know, pop out like... <laughs> At a glance, we can see there is not much difference between the IVA and EVA suits of SpaceX. It still appears to be a one-piece suit, featuring white tones and a simple streamlined design. Most notably, SpaceX still prioritizes astronaut comfort. Because if you just inflate the suit, you know, you just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those like uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. So it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit. Um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. And This is truly the game changer that helps modern spacesuits far beyond traditional spacesuits. Referring to NASA's traditional spacesuits, the general feeling astronauts might describe it as heavy, bulky, and quite warm. But the suit itself is not the only thing contributing to astronaut non-comfort. Yes, it's true. When in the inflated state, the suit looks like a balloon, it resists being deformed and wants to spring back to its original shape. Any movement you make is always working against the internal pressure of the suit. Over time, this becomes very tiring. Next, before going any further, if you found this information useful, remember to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. With the development of the EVA suit, Elon Musk seems to want to expand the scope of application of the suit beyond the Polaris Dawn framework. To be honest, the first destination he aimed for was the moon. Back in August 2021, NASA's Inspector General indicated that delays in spacesuit development were contributing to making a 2024 astronaut moon landing under Artemis impossible. Not that enough. The suits would cost the budget a huge amount of money, up to $1 billion. Immediately, Elon Musk replied, SpaceX could do it if need be. At that time, astronauts on board the International Space Station used spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the Space Shuttle program. Those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. Because it is outdated, the space agency wants to find a replacement version through three different spacesuit programs starting in 2007. The spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. It might be the motivation for SpaceX to simplify its spacesuits. Afterward, although the contract to develop the Artemis spacesuit was awarded to Axiom Space, this could not let Elon Musk down. In fact, he continues silently his plans to create a type of spacesuit that is simple and lightweight but not less efficient. 
More notably, SpaceX's EVA suit promises to be even more state-of-the-art when able to withstand environments with high radiation levels. You know, the Van Allen belts where Dragon Crew capsule will reach in April exist on the border of Earth's magnetic field at an altitude of 700 kilometers above sea level. In the Van Allen belts, the average radiation dose rate for a satellite is about 50 sievert per year. If a human astronaut had the same shielding as a satellite and required one hour to travel through the Van Allen belts for one hour of exposure in the spacecraft, this equals a total dose of 6 millisi everts. Meanwhile, on the moon, astronauts in a spacesuit would be exposed to much lower, around 0.06 millisieverts of radiation every hour. Surprisingly, because Mars has a thin protective atmosphere that the Moon does not have, astronauts would receive a lower average radiation dose of about 0.7 millisieverts per day. Based on the above calculation, we can see clearly Musk's timeless vision in developing the EVA suit. Under Polaris Dawn, the crew will conduct some scientific research, one of which involves a better understanding of how space radiation affects human biological systems. The gathered data will be the premise for a scalable design for spacesuits on future long-duration missions, such as building a base on the Moon and a city on Mars. To put it simply, if SpaceX's suit can endure a dangerous place like Van Allen, then radiation on the Moon or Mars won't be a problem for them. In addition, once the EVA suit becomes operational, it would also be very useful for astronomical missions, especially NASA's Hubble Telescope Rescue Mission, Maybe you know that on November 29th, NASA announced that their Hubble was in a safe mode again. Unlike the previous rescue missions, NASA this time hits the constraint in budget, so they have to call for help from private companies, specifically SpaceX. On September 22, 2022, an unfunded Space Act agreement was signed between NASA and SpaceX to investigate the viability of a SpaceX and Polaris program to push Hubble into a higher orbit. Jared Isaacman, Polaris Dawn's commander, suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. In detail, Isaacman pointed out that such a mission would give Hubble a decade of extra life and provide an opportunity in the future to remove the telescope from orbit using Starship and deliver it to Earth for placement in a museum. He also raised the possibility of repairing the telescope. This could require an intricate spacewalk similar to that performed by the Space Shuttle Rescue Mission known as STS-61 in 1993 to repair and restore the Hubble Space Telescope. Although Isaac Mann's idea met with quite a bit of controversy regarding the technical limitations of both Dragon and the suit, he at least offered NASA another solution to save their aging telescope. More importantly, the space agency may not pay any dollars for this, and that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.